These are some of the faces of our future, budding scientists, marketers, and product designers who are breaking ground in the world of soybeans and corn, happening right here at Purdue University in West Lafayette, Indiana. The Student Soybean and Corn Product Innovation Competitions are sponsored and funded by the Indiana Soybean Alliance and the Indiana Corn Marketing Council, brought to you by the Agricultural and Biological Engineering Department at Purdue. It's very easy for them to participate and also encouraged. Since 1994, graduate and undergraduate students from almost any major, from engineering to liberal arts or from management to agriculture, team up with other contest participants. Together, they learn the steps involved in the creation of a new commercialized product made from soybeans and corn. These never before seen environmentally safe products must be economically and technically feasible and novel in their applications, invented by student competitors each fall. First place teams in each category, soybeans and corn, are awarded for their top notch performances at a banquet held in Indianapolis, where winners are announced the following spring. How does up to $20,000 sound to you? Second place winners are compensated for their hard work as well. Plus, runners up whose products don't place in the competition do walk away with some kind of prize, which might even land you a new laptop just by finishing. So, if you can create a product that demonstrates the many benefits of soybeans and corn, there may be a prize waiting for you. Purdue students have yielded winning products such as Nature's Silk, a soft toilet paper made from corn, as well as an eco disc especially designed for target practice. And then there were Soy Tabs. Soy Tabs is a pharmaceutical tablet, uh, very similar to Tylenol, and it uses soy concentrate as an excipient. A lot of tablets, they can't just compact the active ingredient, which is acetaminophen. They can't just make a tablet out of that. They have to add what is called excipients to the active ingredient just to help it bind together. And so excipients such as microcrystalline cellulose, lactose, different ingredients like that are used to help bind the material together and form tablets. And this team couldn't be more elated by the outcome of their results. So what are you going to do with your award? Go. We're, going We're going to, to Disney, Disney World. <laughs> we actually probably aren't really going to all of us really just um, using the money for where we are in our lives right now. Corn was added to the product innovation competition in 2009 and has certainly found its place in the hands of ambitious student innovators. Some of these products have ranged from melt-away cupcake liners to a terra mat cork that placed in... Essentially, uh, we're told that we're going to use polylactic acid, which is a corn derivative plastic, and we're going to make a novel product out of it. And we had heard about certain types of coatings and pots. Uh, we got it hot enough to where it was easy to, to uh, dip samples, and then the plastic would adhere to them. And then we made a small press with a metal sheet. 